four carbon atoms in the main chain as you can see over here and then there is a methyl group on the second carbon atom which we have shown over here because we know that the end of this vertical line will be a CH3 group it will be a methyl group so that's exactly how we draw skeletal formula what if instead of CH3 we had OH over here so if we had OH over here we would just again we would make a single line but we would write OH because we do not show carbon and hydrogen atoms that are part of the main chain but we will show any other atoms that are a part of the molecule so oxygen is neither carbon nor hydrogen and that's why we have to show oxygen and then this hydrogen it does not belong to the main it, it, it does not belong to a carbon atom it's not attached to a carbon atom it's attached to an oxygen atom and that's why we have to show the ox, uh, the hydrogen atom as well so if we have propanoic acid which was ch3 ch2 CH2 okay no this was not CH2 this COOH then we would make three carbon atoms one two and three then we know that this carbon atom the third carbon atom sorry this carbon atom is bonded to is double bonded to an oxygen atom and this is how we show double bonds and actually uh, actually it's I'll tell you an easier, easier way so you make the OH over here and actually so you make this OH over here and you make the double bond over here so this tells us that CH3 CH2 and then this carbon atom is double bonded to an oxygen atom and it's single bonded to an oxygen atom which is attached to an attached to a hydrogen atom so that's how we make the skeletal formula for this for, uh, for for this molecule for propanoic acid now um, so we have done skeletal formula of these compounds it's actually very easy to do you can see it's how easy it's, uh, how easy it is to make skeletal formula now if you have an alkene let's do an alkene because we haven't practiced that so the structural formula for an alkene is CH2 for ethene is CH2 CH2 this is the structural formula yes we will have to show the double bond so this is the structural formula of ethene now you can see two carbon atoms so you know there will be a straight line and then we'll make another line over this another line just to show that it's a double bond not a single bond so one carbon atom on this end one on this end and then we have a straight another straight line between them to show the double bond for example if we have instead of this if we have propene which is basically just writing a CH3 over here this is propene so you will make this now here you can see that CH3 this is the CH3 side this is attached to the CH which is the double bonded carbon and it's double bonded to the CH2 so we've made a double bond like this however it's always better to make a double bond inside the triangle instead of making it outside so you make a double bond here it's more professional to make it over here now this is how you show double bonds this is how you show double bonds in the skeletal formula carbon carbon double bonds so uh, let's say we have a CH3 here as well so then we would have this so you can see CH3 CH double bonded to CH and then again CH3 and again like always we will make the double bond inside the inside the structure so this is how we make skeletal formula now structural isomerism so um, structural isomerism you have done this in your IGCSEs but we will do it again so as you can see over here structural isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula but different structural formula so there's actually different types of structural isomerism there is something called chain isomerism chain isomerism then there is functional group isomerism all these are categories of structural isomerism functional group isomerism and we have position isomerism 
so we'll go to go through all of them